Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and today we want to look at stabiliser weights. The weight at the end of your stabiliser and how much you need to stabilise your bow. So today I've got two bows, I've got a PSE Perform um, with a V-bar set up here. We've got 7 ounces at the front and at the back I have 7 on either side, so 14 at the back. Now the physical weight of this bow So it's 4.1 kilograms is the weight of the bow, and that's with everything on the bow. Now the next bow I'm going to look at is the PSE Supra Focus. It's new for 2019. Now with this bow, I've got 18 ounces at the front, and I think that's 21 at the back. Um, it's almost equal at the back. So let's just look at the weight of this bow. So this bow is weighing at 4.11, so they're basically the same physical weight. But with the Supra, I've got a whole heap more weight at the front. Now today is extremely windy. So part of this video was I wanted to test how the weight compares on, the, on shooting both bows. So to start off with, I've been shooting both bows. For a, for a couple of weeks now, and I'm shooting them day in, day out to compare the difference between the bows and compared to the stabilizer weights. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about stabilizer weights is if you can't hold up the weight, it, there is no use chucking a pile of weight on the bow. There is no use at all. You're not helping yourself. Now, one of the biggest problems with putting a whole bunch of weight on your bow is you're going to put lots of pressure on your lower back down here. Now, putting pressure on your back and hurting your body is not a good thing. So unless you're strong enough to hold up a heap of weight there, a heap of weight there, and a heap of weight in the riser, don't do it, shoot light. And if you are hurting your body, you need to take a rest or reduce the amount of weight. In my case, I went shooting recurve, just to give my back a break. Um, my back's strong now, I'm doing weight I'm doing work in the gym to basically strengthen my back and strengthen my body so I can put on weight down the end here. You'll see a lot of like the world champions are shooting massive amounts of weight at the front of the bow, 21 ounces. I'm shooting 18 and this is quite a lot. Now you can shoot big scores with light weight at the front. It's just the concept is that if you've got lots of weight at the front here, it's hard for you to move. So you've got to, basically when you're aiming, the more weight you have at the front and the further it is away from the riser, it's hard for you to move. So it should make you more stable. Now I have found with the Supra and more weight at the front, I have found it's a little bit more stable. Now saying that, my scores with both bows, the Perform and the Supra have been the same. So I'm shooting about the same scores with both bows I'm shooting around 297s out of 300s with both bows. Uh, my X count's very, very, very similar. But today it's windy, so, I, so today I want to take this opportunity to compare both bows and talk about it. So we're going to start off with the Supra. So again, don't, don't add a whole bunch of weight, weight up front, and if you are hurting your body, give it a break because you don't want pain. Pain is pain, they say the gym is your friend, but it ain't. Now, one of the things I find about the weight is I find it extremely stable. I find I'm moving around not very much, but what I'm finding is that with that amount of weight there, I tend to, I'm losing my breath in the shot. And as the time goes on where I'm aiming, I'm actually starting to shake more. So basically I'm running out of breath, I'm running out of oxygen. So it's like I almost need to make the shot quicker. So,
Now so far there's a fair bit of wind here and if I had pictures of the palm trees they're, they're, <laughs> they're shaking a lot. Um, my sight pin is not moving. Um, well, I say it's not moving, it's not moving much. So my first thing is, do I enjoy shooting more weight on the bow? I'm going to say no, but if I want to compete, do I need more weight on the bow? And I'm thinking I do, to make it more stable. So, hence I need to make my body stronger. Um, now I'm going to say the difference is minor, but the difference between the, the winner and the loser is literally a couple of points. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera so you can see more of the stabiliser. So I'm just going to move this back. Because what you want to look at is this stabiliser, how much this stabiliser is moving. I'm hoping you can see it in one of the cameras. But to me, it's very, very stable. Also for me, this is my, I haven't had a warm up before I've shot this video, I've just come straight outside after breakfast um, and we're shooting this because I've been finishing very late at the shop at night time, so. So one of my concerns with shooting a whole bunch of weight on the bow is dropping my bow arm, becoming fatigued and arrows dropping low and I've clearly seen that with shooting the Supra, that I do shoot an occasional low arrow just due to the weight and you're going to say well it's the same weight as the Perform and yes it is but I am dropping the occasional ones low. I'm going to say that my grouping is probably better with the Supra than the Perform um, but I am dropping the occasional arrow low, you know, so yeah, one or two arrows out of 30, that's... Okay, we're going to go, we're going to shoot the form now. Now one of my viewers said maybe the Supra is more stable in the wind because of the reflex riser. Um, now obviously to test that I'd need to shoot the same weight on the same amount of stabilizer weight on the front as on the back as the Perform. But so basically the bow would be lighter. And the argument is that if a bow is heavier, it's more stable. So for me, all I'm doing is I'm trying to, with the Perform, I physically, I feel like I can't physically add 21 ounces to the bow, to the front, because the bow will be too heavy. Um, with the Super, I can feel like I can do it because of the balance of the bow and the weight of the bow. So with the Supra, I'm putting less weight on the back than I am with the Perform to get it balanced. Now I feel with the I feel with the Perform I get more left to right movement with the Perform than the Supra. It could be purely in my head 
and my scores are fine with the perform this is just how I feel Now that one I got a little just a little bit of wind came up and my pin moved from the 10 straight to the 9. Now I didn't see that occur at all with the Supra. I mean I think the arrow still went in the 10 but I definitely got more wind movement with the Perform with less weight out front than I did with the Supra. Now I've seen I've seen people in my archery shop with one ounce out the front of their bow shooting indoor shoot amazing scores. So never say, well, I need lots of weight to shoot a big score. You do not. This is just talking about elite and basically stabilizing your bow. I think it was still a 10, but I mean, my pin was in the 10 for literally a second, and I was just, I was just lucky the release aid went off when the when the pin was in the middle. That was just pure luck. shaking around definitely more definitely more than the than the Supra now it could be I'm fatiguing um, because I've shot these arrows continuously oh, that was a nice shot it came off really clean but I just feel like with the perform and the less weight I'm getting more movement. Now I'm just going to go back, I've got a couple of arrows to shoot. I'm just going to go back to the Supra. So one thing I found about adding heaps of weight up here is it creates a lot more vibration in the bow. I notice my sight will vibrate more. I feel more shock with this massive weight here and why is that? Because when you shoot there's a whole bunch of vibration going down the stabilizer and you've got a whole bunch of weight down here and now that's causing the resonance back through the bow. Um, now if you're going to shoot a whole bunch of weight down the front here you need a higher quality stabilizer, a cheaper stabilizer, stabilizer is not going to cut it. Um, I've got the Shrewd Onyx stabilizer which is a high cost um, stiff carbon stabilizer here. A cheaper stabilizer once again is not going to cut it, it's going to get too much vibration and when you're aiming the stabilizer is going to be moving which is going to create tremors when you're physically aiming. Never mind about after the shot, while you're actually aiming, your bow's going to be moving around. That wasn't a good <laughs> That was aimed at a nine, but it's just unfortunate the release aid went off in the nine. But the vibration is actually not too bad today because of probably the wind. But normally I can feel the vibration with the Supra. 
with the huge amount of weight down the front. What I also noticed with the Supra and this amount of weight down here, like my sight pin was moving that time, that last shot, and my sight pin moved around the left, around the 9, 10 ring. The movement is much slower than with a light stabilizer. So when you're correcting for the wind and you're moving, it's much faster with less weight here. So when you're stable with more weight, the pin is more stable, but if you move off, it takes longer to bring it back in. So I'm going to say that my scores have been the same with both bows because I think probably the Perform reacts faster than the Supra, if that makes any sense. So it's all got to do with time. My pin is spent in the middle of the target. So overall, it's probably similar. It just feels that with less weight, I'm shaking around more. Um, but those last two shots, I think they're probably nice. Let's go and check. Um, and you can kind of see where those arrows landed. Table. This is the group I shot with the Supra here. You can see I get my finger around nice and easily. Now, out of the 10, I've got one and probably that one there, but the grouping is pretty tight. This is the Perform. And I think they're all 10s. The one at the top here is definitely a line cutter, but the others are all pretty solid. Now the last two arrows I shot with the Supra, which I said where I was aiming off to the left a little bit, you can see they are off to the left, and this one's clearly a nine. Not a good shot. But I'm not taking that away from the bow. That's where, that's where it was when it got shot. So my view on stabilizer weights and on these bows, for me, I think it's worth trying greater weight. It's, it's what the world champions are doing. It's, 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 I think it's the way I've got to go with more weight on the stabilizer. But I am very aware of the lower back problems, which I've had before um, when shooting. And when I was shooting a lot of archery, I hurt my lower back. As just through that weight, you're kind of probably tilting your back back a little bit and apparently doctors and all that said you can have issues with the whole strength thing so part of the thing for me is to build up my strength so it's lifting weights doing core activities to try and strengthen my body to enable there to be more weight put on my bow to enable me to shoot longer to enable me to shoot without pain um, I also need to imp improve my lung capacity because obviously I'm running out of there in that shot. Um, so overall with the stabilizer weights, don't add more than you can physically handle. If you are gonna add, start adding weight to stabilizers, you will need better quality stabilizers. Um, not so much on the V bars at the back because they're shorter, so they are stiffer based, based on size. The longer the stabilizer, the stiffer stabilizer you will need. Um, but don't add too much up front because basically your scores will drop because the bow will physically be too heavy. Now, if you've got a lighter bow to start with, like something like a PSE Stinger, you can obviously add more stabilizer weight to that to increase the weight of the bow. So eventually when you want to jump up to a more expensive bow like the Supra or the Perform, which is physically heavier, and you've got a cheaper bow to start with, add more weights to that bow. So when you make the jump to a more expensive bow, the physical weight of the bow basically you're used to it otherwise when you jump to a heavier bow it's going to basically hurt your body and you're going to be shaking just through fatigue so hope i've explained that well so summary people shooting more weights on their bows are generally stronger and they're physically thing whether their bodies will cope with it long term i've got questions about um but yeah give it a try and always with archery go in and try it and yeah see for yourself um that's all i'm doing here i'm shooting both bows i'm testing it and you can see there the groups are, are pretty much the same now on that on the last point i'm going to say the super i have not tuned yet um i shot two nine sevens with it pretty much straight out the box 
and I, I lined up the string and the stabilizers with the center of the riser. The arrows were shooting fine. Some of my customers say line up with the center of the grip, which I, I haven't since done. I did it a couple of days ago. My scores were identical. So I, and my, my scope physically moved that much. Now my scores were identical. So with this whole tuning thing, I kind of rave on about tuning a fair bit. It still gets back to the archer. That, that bow is going to shoot the same every time, and unless you're you've got good technique and all that, the whole tuning thing is really not going to help you. Now I will tune my Supra, absolutely I will, but I'm going to shoot it first and get more comfortable with it before I go down that path. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I hope that's been helpful on stabilizer weights. Thank you. Bye.